our carrot preparation here, we're gonna make a carrot hummus. But to get going, we've gotta process these carrots a little bit. I've told everybody before that when you get the carrots in the box and you're not gonna eat them right away and you're gonna store them, you wanna take the tops off. Um, and you can use the tops and, and, and make a pesto, which is, uh, we have a video of that from before. Man, these things are big. Uh, you might have gotten the um, War of the Worlds alien carrots this week. There's a lot of those. I love those. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna take the tops off real quick, <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna save them for the pesto. For my own pesto at home. Uh, let's save that. So uh, basically, what you're gonna what in order to make the the uh, carrot hummus what we have to do is roast these carrots first with some garlic calls for a pound of carrots um, I sort of know that like two big beefsteak tomatoes is a pound so I'm gonna I'm gonna use it all because I've got a little bit extra also calls for two garlic cloves uh, which means three so we are going to cut these up just rough it's just a rough chop kind of thing um, because we're going to put them on a roasting pan. Uh, you need to coat them before you put them on the roasting pan. You want to coat them with olive oil and get that in a second. Oh, it's another alien. These are big carrots, so I'm going to... You don't actually have to cut them up. You could put them on the roasting pan whole and it would be fine, but I'm just going to... Uh, they got to get downsized a little bit because they're going to go on a food processor later. So we're going to cut them up anyway. Um, the garlic, you don't even have to take the, um, the the skins off of them. I like to get a little oil on them first. So I got grandma's. Um, I love. Ooh, that's a this big old roasting pan. I mean, big old uh, uh, mixing bowl. And so I'm going to put some olive oil. Just the coat, you know. <clears throat> some kosher salt, always. I got some prettier stuff over here. And uh, that's pretty much good to go. So uh, I've got the oven preheated on 400. Uh, anywhere in that area is fine. We're just doing a simple, you know, a simple roast. Just like that and I would say good half an hour I think our carrots are ready so we're gonna check on that and I don't know why I'm waving the knife but uh, it's a good pointer um, one second this is uh, we'll see what we got going on here oh yeah almost two yeah perfect perfecto Let's see here. So this is going to be our, I've never done this before. This is going to be our uh, carrot pesto. And we need a food processor for this. And you know, you know when your carrots are done, when you know, I can push this through here if you want to use a knife or whatever. Love it. They look beautiful. Our carrots are just, they're awesome right now. We're going to have rainbow carrots coming soon. I don't know what that would look like in this. That might be kind of a funny color. If you were doing making the hummus out of it but uh so i'm gonna put these in the food processor it might take me a second here oh we've got a little caramelization there that's good they're so they're so sweet this time of year they just come out of the ground kids carrots are it's root vegetables when they when they're real fresh and they've just been harvested it's a totally different thing the sugars have not all turned to starches uh, it's really awesome. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can keep from burning my. Oh yeah, see that's what you want right there. So this is our roasted garlic. That's like gold. Uh, we're gonna put that in there. That one's a little more caramelized. It's hot. real hot oh man pretty one pretty one okay so this all goes in the food processor um, and we've got some other ingredients here 
Uh, I'm gonna have to refer to it because I haven't made this before. So we got the garlic, we got the carrots. Um, the typically in in hummus, you're gonna have some cumin, 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 uh, which you know smells like tacos. Um, uh, that's that's gonna go in now, and that is teaspoon, teaspoon, um, salt. You know what I say about that, you just kind of look at it and you, you know, figure out what you think is going to be enough to... I'm kind of judging by the volume of the carrots that are in there and you can always fix it later. You don't want to oversalt though because you could fix undersalting. Oversalting can be fixed sometimes, but it's way more difficult. Uh, another thing that we had to buy, uh, buy in that goes in hummus is this tahini. And uh, I bought this this jar of tahini from Food Lion, and uh, I believe it's just uh, like sun sunflower butter, basically. And uh, that's yeah, when you smell it, you'll know. Yeah, that's that flavor that you're used to smelling for it. Um, so that's the tahini. What did I say? It's sunflower, right? Mmm, definitely. Uh, we added our salt and our cumin and let's put a little pepper in there I like pepper and some cilantro looks good to me and got my little dude back so we got to put some lemon juice in is that thing cool or what? You know what I'm gonna do? While we're at it, since we get a little more lemon taste, I've only got that one lemon left. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a little bit of zest and drop that in there. You get more, uh, you know, more flavor from that and, and it's got that lemon oil kind of. And let's see, I'm gonna put our lemon juice in. That was one the juice of one lemon is what that added up. I had done one of them before. Uh, the other thing that it's that requires, I'm gonna hit it with, I'm gonna hit it real quick, but it requires a little bit of water. And otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna be too thick. So I've got like uh, three tablespoons of water. Just to thin it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna, I am going to uh, get it off the sides a little bit, get some of those uh, whole pieces back down in there, and then I'm gonna hit it one more time. And then, as we all know, the last thing that goes in something like that is a some olive oil. I'm about, I'm going to add some olive oil. This is a uh, Tunisian extra virgin olive oil, which means it's probably not olive oil at all. But uh, we're going to we're going to give that a shot. It said three tablespoons. If you're used to making a pesto or a hummus, we we'll just just see how it goes from the from the texture of it. Slow, always slow with 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 the oil. So. All right, let's see how this is. I'm surprised I haven't knocked that over yet. Uh, okay. Hmm, smells like it. Again, this is a first for me. So what we're gonna do, I'm not even gonna taste it. I'm just gonna, uh, oops. <laughs> There's always something, there we go. Always something goofy I do during any of these, any of these videos. <laughs> I was I was doing pretty well. And I was doing, until that I was doing pretty well up until just now. <laughs> Notwithstanding the other incident that we're not going to discuss. Yeah. Look at that, man. Uh, with some more, I'm going to leave it like this. It's probably not as smooth looking as most that you would see. Tell me what it needs. 
more salt. I figured that. This should have been done in the. Uh... Oh man, excuse me, that is really good. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. That that heck yeah, that's awesome. I bet you could make some chickpeas in with that if you wanted to, like a you know regular hummus, but. That's terrific. That's a great thing to do with, uh, I put a lot of carrots in the box, so yeah. that's a great thing to do with those carrots. That is fab, God, that is fabulous. I, I think I like it more than, uh, than Ed does, but. No, I uh, like it very well. <laughs> uh, you know, garnish with a little cilantro, and it's good to go. That is good stuff right there. You could put that, you, oh man, you could, there's a lot of things you could do that with that, and we'll work on that later. Um, so. I'm really happy with this. If anybody knows how to make kale chips, that might be the way to go with that. Yeah, I'm sure you could use it as a spread, just anything anything that you would do with hummus in general. Uh, I pulled out, this is our, our uh, massage mustard greens from before, and there was little addition I was gonna make to this. Uh, we did our, um, our beet salad, our raw beet salad before, and that was also really good if I can find it. And, uh, we have this, and what I was thinking was um, just a little dollop. So there you go. We got some raw beet uh, salad. We've got we've got massaged mustard salad, which is that was amazing. I mean, that's really good. You can, don't forget you can also use any of these kales for that that preparation and that carrot pesto right there, I mean carrot hummus right there is fabulous. That's it for today, there we go.